eight XL bully dogs and more than 600 weapons, including guns, nunchucks and knuckle dusters, have been seized in a week of police raids on county lines drug gangs. Yeah, almost 1,900 suspects were arrested right across the country. Let's talk to former Detective Chief Inspector Mike Neville, who joins us now. Mike, I mean, this seems a, sig a significant series of raids, a significant intelligence operation as well. Positive in some respects, but will it go any way to solving the county line's problem? Yes, you're right, Stephen. It's a very coordinated uh, series of raids, and I congratulate the police on the amount of drugs uh, and weapons that they've seized. However, as you've just highlighted, will it solve the problem? No, because the drugs trade is like the Greek story of the Hydra. You cut one head off and, and two more grow in its place. And what's really frightening with county lines is how they use children. And the reason they use children is because the police were very successful with undercover officers who were obviously adults. Uh, and so the uh, drug dealers don't trust anybody they don't know is an adult, uh, but they well know that the police are not allowed uh, to use children as some kind of undercover agent. So they're always going to be safe using children uh, and they will abuse these kids by giving them money and other things uh, and get them to courier drugs uh, and carry weapons for them and like. So that's the, the really frightening thing about county lines, I think. It is. And the fact that just in one week of, of raids, so many weapons and, and those bully dogs as well were uncovered. It just makes you wonder how you'd ever beat this sort of level of crime. Yeah, it is. And it calls for real debate on how we fight drugs. I was a detective sergeant in charge of a drug squad at, uh, at Brixton. And, and what you do, you, you close one premises down and you simply give the opportunity for somebody else uh, to deal drugs and there's always uh, customers there and as i've highlighted it's not 25 years ago when i was doing that sort of work it's now when these uh, people are utterly ruthless they've got better communication with mobile phones but the real challenge as we keep saying is about the this use of children and literally abuse of children it's how we manage that how do we move away from this uh, war on drugs onto how to deal with drugs and manage the fact that they do exist in society and somebody will always want to take them yeah indeed okay mike short but sweet thanks very much indeed appreciate your time this